Hey y'all, welcome back. Let's look at tonight's homework. Today, we're just evaluating trig functions um, and we're gonna use the unit circle to do so. So that's why I put the unit circle right up here. So I'm gonna keep referring back to it um, to help us evaluate these. Now, just as a little reminder, um, I'm gonna write this up here just because we're gonna keep referring back to it over and over again on all these. Uh, let's go through the six trig functions and see exactly how you would evaluate them. So um, let's say we've got uh, sine theta. Sine theta is going to, or let's start with cosine actually. Cosine of theta is going to be the x coordinate on the unit circle. Um, let's make that a little smaller. I just want to make like a little cheat sheet up here. Yeah, let's make that like, can you all see that? Okay, yeah, I think it's pretty small, but hopefully you don't have to squint too hard to read that. Um, so yeah, cosine of theta is x. Uh, sine theta Oh, it, uh, what size was that, 12? Okay, let's do 12 point font. Stay consistent here. Uh, so sine of theta is gonna be the y. Tangent of theta is going to be the reciprocal, uh, is gonna be y over x. Actually, let me, uh, I think I might put that over here. So yeah, tangent of theta. Whoa, why did that look like that? That's weird. Is gonna be y over x. Cotangent theta, which is the reciprocal of tangent, is going to be x over y. Uh, the uh, reciprocal of cosine is secant. So what we'll do is I'm going to write 1 over x, but like I explained in the lecture video, I, I would not recommend like doing one divided by the x-coordinate because most of these x-coordinates are going to be fractions already. So just flip the fraction, okay? Uh, we'll see a bunch of those. And then cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. And so that's gonna be the reciprocal of y. Again, really the, the way to write this algebraically is one over y. Um, but it, don't do one divided by the y-coordinate. Instead, just flip the fraction. Okay, so it can be a lot easier to think about it that way. So these are our six trig functions, and let's start kind of knocking out some of these problems. Okay, so sine of pi over 4, if you look up at the unit circle, you'll see that um, at pi over 4, uh, the coordinate is root 2 over 2, comma root 2 over 2. So we're looking at the y value um, and the y value is going to be root 2 over 2. So let's go ahead and type that in. And I'm going to be doing a lot of copy and paste here because a lot of these answers are going to be very similar um, in how they look. I guess we can start to make this a little bigger. Let's go, let's go, let's move on up to 18 point font. Let's do it. Okay, that looks a little, a little easier to read, hopefully. So yeah, I'm just going to copy this because a lot of these answers will look very similar. Um, Cosine of pi over 3, so you're going to look at your unit circle. Um, I can't really show you with the cursor because now i got this thing configured, but look right up there. Uh, at pi over 3, the x value is 1 half. Uh, so this is going to be 1 half, looking at the x value. Now tangent is where we actually have to start um, you know, doing a little bit of work here. So negative pi over 6. So if you look up at the unit circle, you'll see pi over 6. At, well, I guess from your perspective, where I'm backwards here. It's going to be, okay. Well, it, you'll see pi over 6 at 30 degrees. So negative pi over 6, let me just draw a little diagram here just to kind of help illustrate what I'm trying to say. Uh, negative pi over 6 will be 30 degrees in the clockwise direction. So like if I, you know, draw a little, uh, you know, coordinate plane here, Pi over 6 is going to be like roughly here, right? So negative pi over 6 would be roughly here. So um, just to kind of give you an idea of where that is, okay? So the coordinate here is going to be the same as, if you're looking at the unit circle above, uh, it's going to be at the same location as 11 pi over 6. So I'm looking at the y coordinate divided by the x coordinate at 11 pi over 6. And so the y coordinate is uh, negative 1 over 2. Okay, now I'm going to show you something here. Negative 1 over 2, and then the x coordinate is root 3 over 2. Now, in the lecture video, we went over how to make this process a little easier. 
Um, and part of that was getting rid of these denominators. And really, as you go through these for tangent and cotangent in particular, um, you'll notice like all the coordinates around the unit circle have like over two, except for those extremes. And so those over twos will just cancel out every time. So really, you can just kind of ignore them and just do the numerators. So we got negative one over root three. Um, now we do want to rationalize that. So uh, this is going to equal negative root three over three. And by the way, if you, if you don't remember how to rationalize, just check out um, the video we did in unit zero. Um, I think it was, I think it was the last one. I think it was zero two, uh, where we go over how to rationalize. Basically, you're just going to multiply by root three over root three. I didn't box any of these answers. I guess that, that was all I wrote for over here. Um, you know, I don't think I'm going to draw a diagram every time, but when it's something like a negative angle or something that's greater than 2 pi, um, you know, I, I might show that just to, to kind of clarify where I'm getting these numbers from. Cosine of 3 pi over 4. Uh, look right above. You'll see 3 pi over 4 is in quadrant 2, and that coordinate is negative root 2 over 2 comma uh, a positive root 2 over 2. So um, since cosine is referring to the x-coordinate, it's going to be negative root 2 over 2. Sine of pi over 2, okay, so look right above. See sine is going to be, uh, or pi over 2 is uh, uh, at 0, 1. And since sine is referring to the y value, uh, we are going to pull that y value, with, which is just 1. So there's not really no fraction here or anything. It's just... You know, sine of pi over 2 equals 1. Tangent of 3 pi over 2 is going to be the y over the x. So at that coordinate, it's going to be negative 1 divided by 0, um, which you can't do. You cannot divide by 0. So we are going to call that undefined instead. It does not have a value. Seven, uh, sine of 7 pi over 6. So that uh, if you're looking at the unit circle, it's going to be in quadrant 3. Um, that coordinate is negative root 3 over 2 comma negative 1 half. Sine is referring to the y value, so that'll be negative 1 half. Tangent of 5 pi over 4. Um, the pi over 4s are nice with tangent because if you notice, like, five, if you look at pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, 7 pi over 4, all the coordinates are just like root 2 over 2 comma root 2 over 2 with like a negative, maybe, and 1 or both of the coordinates. But whenever you divide a number by itself, you always get 1, and if one of them is negative, it'll be negative 1. So all those pi over 4s when you're dealing with tangent are always going to end up being 1 or negative 1. That's, that's, that's really nice. Um, but just to kind of spell that out, so at 5 pi over 4, uh, the y coordinate is negative root 2. Um, let me just steal this little root 2 over here. So negative root 2 divided by negative root 2. I don't know why the negative, okay? And so you can see kind of what I was saying before is that this is going to be... Um, negative, I'm sorry, positive 1, right? Whenever you divide something by itself, you always get 1. So let's go ahead and box those four answers. And once you kind of get the hang of this, uh, you know, hopefully you're seeing that it doesn't take a ton of time to figure out these values. The tricky part is just remembering, like, which ratio is which. Uh, but once you got that down and you've got your unit circle um, ready to go, you're just picking out numbers. Um, you just got to know where to look. Okay, so cosine of pi is going to be the x-coordinate at pi, and so that's going to be negative 1. So negative 4 pi over 3, I'm going to do a diagram like I did up here for the negatives, just to help me visualize where that terminal side is going to be. So 4 pi over 3, if it's positive, is in quadrant 3. Okay, so let me just show you. Now this is positive 4 pi over 3. So negative 4 pi over 3 if I reflect that over the x-axis, would be here, and it'll be this angle right here. So let me erase the positive one so that this is, oh, erased a little too much there. So yeah, 4 pi over 3 is going to be at the same place as 2 pi over 3. Those angles are coterminal, okay? Maybe I'll make a little note here that this is coterminal to uh, 2 pi over 3. So this is, you know, another reason why we talk about coterminal angles is they help us evaluate these things. So coterminal to 2 pi over 3. So you're basically just looking at the coordinate at 2 pi over 3. Um, that was similar to, like, 
you know, above when we talked about tangent of pi over six, uh, we found a coterminal angle, um, and we were looking at 11 pi over six. Let me, let me just make that little note here. Uh, let's see, what's the best way I can, yeah, okay, there we go. And then we'll change this to 11 pi over six. Just a, a quick little note um, to help you figure out uh, where, where to look. Okay, so the coordinate at 2 pi over 3, which is coterminal to negative 4 pi over 3, is going to be negative 1 half, comma, root 3 over 2. And since the sine is the y value, uh, we're going to have root 3 over 2 as our uh, uh, value. Oops. There we go, root 3 over 2. Okay, uh, sine of 4 pi over 3. Let's get rid of this so you can see. Uh, the sine of 4 pi over 3 is, let's see, let's take a look. Oh, we were just talking about 4 pi over 3, right? It was down here, okay? And sine is the y value, so that would be negative root 3 over 2. Sine of 5 pi over 3, at 5 pi over 3, you'll find that in quadrant 4. Um, the y value at 5 pi over 3 is negative root 3 over 2. We actually get the exact same thing. That's funny. All right, let me go ahead and box these. So we finished uh, four problems. Go ahead and lock in these answers, and we'll go forward. All right, we've got a bunch of these to practice. And really, like, the best way to learn this is just to practice. That's why I put through on so many problems on here, because as you go through these, the more you can, you can practice, the better you'll get at it. All right, a cosine of 11 pi over 6 is going to be the... Uh, X coordinate at 11 pi over 6, and you'll see that that is root 3 over 2. Cosine of 0 degrees is the X coordinate at 0 uh, radians or degrees. And I guess all these are in radians, so we'll just assume radians, although it doesn't, you know, 0 is the same no matter what unit you're in. Um, and the X coordinate's 1. Okay, so 2 pi is coterminal to 0, right? Like they're at the same place. We're going to look at that same coordinate, which is 1 comma 0, and so the Y value is 0. Tangent of negative pi. So pi and negative pi are actually coterminal to each other. Uh, like if I, let me draw a little diagram here uh, and erase, uh, let's see here. Let's erase this one. Okay, so positive pi is here, right? Negative pi is here. So you actually end up at the same location. So negative pi is coterminal to pi. I'm not sure why that switched over to red. Oh, it's still black. Oh, I guess I gotta change it here. There we go. Um, so anyway, yeah, let me erase the positive pi so it's just a little bit more obvious where we are. Okay, so at that location, uh, our coordinate is negative 1, 0. So since tangent is y divided by x, all right, and we can go back and reference that up here if you forget, and take the y coordinate divided by the x coordinate. So that'd be 0 divided by negative 1. And uh, whenever you divide 0 by something, you get 0. Okay, so here's our four answers for that one. Number 17, we got secant of pi over 6. Okay, so now we're starting to deal with those reciprocal functions. So all it looks like these last eight problems are going to ask that you find the reciprocals of like cosine or, or whatever. So secant is the reciprocal of cosine. So at pi over 6, okay, the x value, okay, so cosine, just remember that this is the, uh, the reciprocal of cosine. Uh, the x value at pi over 6 is, you can see it above, uh, root 3 over 2. So the reciprocal of that would be 2 over root 3. And that would be the value, okay? If you were to uh, uh, simplify that, it would be 2 root 3 over 3. Cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent. So instead of being y over x, it's x over y. And you could still ignore like those over 2s like we did with tangent. So let's look at 4 pi over 3. Uh, we already found that once. It's in quadrant 3. And so the x value is negative 1 half. So I'm just going to ignore the, the, the denominator. So negative 1 over negative root 3. 
And uh, so it'll be positive 1 over root 3. Right? Negative divided by negative is positive. And then uh, we want to uh, rationalize that. So we multiply by root 3 over root 3, and we get root 3 over 3. Cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. So we're looking at the y-coordinate, and we're going to flip the fraction that we find at 7 pi over 4. So the y value at 7 pi over 4 is negative root 2 over 2. So that would be actually 2 over negative root 2. It's the fraction flipped. Um, we do need to rationalize this, and that will give me 2 root 2 uh, over 2. And I guess the whole thing will still be negative. But take a look at this real quick. You can actually simplify this one step further because the uh, 2 divided by 2 is 1. So we can reduce that. And uh, we, we end up with uh, negative root 2. For cotangent of negative pi, um, we showed above. I don't think we need to do the diagram again, but we can see where negative pi is. It's coterminal to pi, like uh, we made a little note there. So we're looking for the reciprocal of this. Okay, So this is going to be x over y, which would be negative 1 over 0. And as we mentioned before, uh, you can't divide by 0. Right, we had a similar problem over here with tangent of 3 pi over 2. So anytime you try to divide by 0, you're just going to call it undefined. All right, we got four more here. Let's go ahead and box these answers. I have our official key here. <laughs> so cosecant of 11 pi over 6, that's reciprocal of sine. So we're going to be looking at the y coordinate and then flipping the fraction. 11 pi over 6, the y-coordinate is negative 1 over 2. So the reciprocal of that is going to be negative 2 over 1, which is just negative 2. Uh, secant of negative 3 pi over 4. So this, this, with these negatives, I always find it helpful to draw a diagram um, just to make sure we're, we are looking in the right place here. So positive 3 pi over 4 is in quadrant 2. Right? That's the positive 3 pi over 4. So negative 3 pi over 4 would be here, okay? And that is going to be coterminal to 5 pi over 4. So I'm going to make a little, I'm actually going to steal this because it's kind of hard to get that whole thing out. Uh, let's just copy all that. And I want to say that this is coterminal to, if I can edit that, that'd be nice. A uh, coterminal to 5 pi over 4. So just you're looking at that same coordinate. Um, so we're going to take the reciprocal of the x coordinate because secant is reciprocal of x, right? Secant is 1 over x. Um, so let's see here. Uh, come on. Let me type. There we go. So the x coordinate at 5 pi over 4, or negative 3 pi over 4, it's going to be negative root 2 over 2. So the reciprocal of that would be, um, well, actually, it looks like we kind of already did that, didn't we? Um, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, we did. Okay, so we're going to basically have this exact same thing happen. We've got 2 over uh, uh, negative root 2. That would be the, um, the reciprocal. And then we would want to rationalize that, and then the twos cancel out, and we get the exact same answer we did in 19. So I don't, don't need to change anything there. Um, yeah, so uh, 23, negative pi over 6. We already sketched out negative pi over 6 up here, so I'm not going to do it again. Uh, so just note that it's coterminal to 11 pi over 6, right? Like if I, if I, uh, if I rotate clockwise pi over 6 units, that's going to put me in the same location as 11 pi over 6. Now the coordinate there is root 3 over 2, comma 1 half. So if I do x over y, that would be root 3 over negative 1. Okay, so I'm going to actually take this. Uh, root, th it'll let me. So root 3 over negative 1, which would simplify to just be negative root 3. We got one last problem here. Um, I guess I can box these. Secant of zero. So secant is the reciprocal of cosine. The x coordinate um, of zero is one. So it's just one over one, <laughs> which is one. Yeah, one is just its own reciprocal. 
So that's it. Uh, you, I know you've got a whole backside on your homework here, but this is just really for your practice. Um, what I really want you to do is just keep practicing filling out this unit circle so that you know it like the back of your hand. Okay, like just keep doing it until you can do it without looking at any reference. When you can do that, you know you're in good shape. And when you get to a point where you can fill out this unit circle um, without looking at anything and you can fill out everything correctly, the next step is just to increase uh, the speed at which you can do that. And so my challenge to you is to be able to complete this in under five minutes. I know that sounds like kind of crazy, but it's totally doable. And I've got students every year that do it, okay? Now, if you're a little bit over five minutes, that's fine. But it, if you really know this well, it is, uh, it's absolutely possible to be able to fill this in with radians, degrees, and coordinates in under five minutes. It sounds pretty daunting, but it's, you know, if you do it enough, you will be able to do that for sure. Um, that's it for today. Uh, hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you all next time.